Well, Christina Maurice, the details in this case are just so sick and twisted. Prosecutors say Allison Mack was recruiting women from here in Brooklyn to join this so called empowerment group in upstate New York before turning them into sex slaves. Why are you looking at me like that? From starring in Smallville to landing in big trouble, actress Allison Mack, who played Chloe Sullivan in the Superman prequel series, barely said a word in a federal courtroom Friday as she was charged with sex trafficking. Prosecutors say under the guise of a women's self-help and empowerment group, the Albany-based organization that calls itself Nexium was seducing women to abandon their old lives and come join the cult, where some members were brainwashed, branded, and used as sex slaves for the group's leader, Keith Ranieri. Mac, a business partner and so-called slave master, was said to be second in command. It's very upsetting and nauseating to me. Stanley Zaroff says his dear friend's daughter is one of the victims who got sucked into the clutches of this secret society. That friend, actress Catherine Oxenberg. Both Oxenberg and Ranieri's ex-girlfriend spoke outside court last week after the 57-year-old was arraigned. This is a very personal fight for me. He is where he deserves to be behind bars for the rest of his life. And I think that this is just the beginning of what needs to happen to stop this reign of terror that Keith Ranieri and Nexium has. The FBI raided this Albany area townhome back in March before arresting Ranieri at a $10,000 a week villa in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. They say that's where he and Mac had been hiding out. Prosecutors say Mac led the recruitment for the group and specifically targeted vulnerable women and starved women to fit the sex ideals of Ranieri. I want to see her put away. She's dangerous, she's sick, she's evil, she's dark, and she's done harm to many people. Allison Mack pleaded not guilty today, but she was sent to jail with no bail. Nexium has denied all these allegations repeatedly. We're live in downtown Brooklyn tonight. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jessica.